Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get right into it, okay? We're using COTP, and this video is going to help you guys hopefully uh, be a nice and easy way to get in, deposit some funds, and uh, not have to sign up with a bunch of exchanges because with COTP, Crypto's OTC trading platform, they only accept USDT on the TRC20 network and not all exchanges have this. And I'm going to be going through with Coinbase, for example. I've got this set up here and I've already tested this. I've done it a few times just to make sure things are solid. And uh, I think this is going to be a solid and easy way for you guys who don't have a TRC20 network option for your exchange. But you have something like Litecoin, for example, which honestly every single exchange should have Litecoin as a cryptocurrency to buy. Now, there will be timestamps on this. If you guys already have an exchange that you have set up um, that you can buy directly and send directly, or maybe you're fine with some hold times as you buy from your bank account or debit card, I will include timestamps so you can switch to the third party that we are using, sorry, that I'm using to uh, send TRC20 and swap some coins out really quick, get it to your COTP address. So look for the timestamps in the description of this video and let's get into it, okay? This portion here, I'm gonna be using Coinbase. Now, most of you guys, I mean, this was the first exchange that I used uh, when I first started back in 2017. So maybe you guys have a Coinbase account. But what I'm gonna do here really quick, just so you guys understand uh, if you are using this Coinbase option, uh, what the limitations are. So I'm gonna click here, my top right profile pic, and then I'm gonna click on settings. Now, once I'm in the settings portion of my Coinbase account, I'm gonna click on account limits. And this is this will be different for you guys. Uh, the cool thing about Coinbase is the more that you utilize it and um, uh, work with it, deposit, buy, withdraw, your limits will be increasing over time. So if you ever wanna to check to see if your limits are eligible for an increase, just click this button here, but we can see my bank transfers, I have a $15,000 day limit, and my PayPal purchase is a $1,000 day limit. Now, these are the two ones I wanna focus on. Yesterday, I tested with PayPal, and the main difference between the two is bank transfers will have a few days hold time, and what that means is when you buy crypto with your uh, bank account directly, it's going to hold it for a few days before you can send it off to wherever you want. So in this case, it's going to be COTP. So if you wanted to buy something immediately, PayPal is what I'm going to use. However, I only have $1,000 a day as a limit. So um, I could do $1,000 a day for the next week and have $7,000 total that I've sent over. Or for bank transfers, I can do $15,000 a day, wait a few days, and you know, it just kind of just depends on your guys's urgency to get in but i'm going to use paypal purchases to uh, add these payment methods and make sure you have it hooked up to your account just click on this payment methods tab and then on this tab it's pretty self-explanatory just click the add a payment method button and it's going to ask you what method do you want to do so if you want to do both your bank account you want to do a debit card and uh, paypal then you, those options will be there just click on those follow the instructions to uh, get those payment methods hooked up to your account. Once you guys have this, and once you understand what you want to do, I'm going back here to my assets page, the home page here, and I'm going to buy some crypto. So let's say I come in here and I want to buy Litecoin, and I'm choosing Litecoin because it is the cheaper option uh, from majority of cryptocurrencies. The transaction fees are really low. So let's say I want to I want to buy $100 worth of Litecoin. I'm going to use uh, PayPal as my payment method. If you want to change it to something else, just click this and then choose a different payment method. I'm going to preview buy. And the cool thing about PayPal is this one I can buy and send immediately. So it's going to be uh, looks like about 3.8% Coinbase fee. And, you know, if you guys want to read that, you can. But I'm fine with that. That's pretty cheap compared to others at least. And I'm gonna hit buy now. And it's gonna think here for a bit. Okay, it's gonna say it was submitted. I'm gonna hit that done button. If I refresh, it should be, there it is. Okay, so I've got 95 bucks now in my portfolio balance. Now, 
uh, I can send this immediately, but like I was saying earlier, Coinbase does not have this TRC20 network option. Um, if I were to switch this to USDT, which is what COTP takes, it's only going to be able to send it on the Ethereum network or the ERC20 network. If this is confusing for you, you, you don't understand what the networks mean. It's just another way to send these cryptocurrencies, okay? And uh, there are differences between each network, and um, some exchanges only offer certain networks. So Coinbase only offers the ERC20 network to send coins on. They don't offer TRC20. So <clears throat> I need to use a third party or send to another exchange that has TRC20 to get this to work properly. Now, I forgot to mention, if you guys don't have a Coinbase account, all the links for what I'm using will be in the description of this video, okay? So um, if you need to sign up, use those links. I do get a, a little kickback from some of these, so I would really appreciate it. Now, let's go ahead and move on to this third party a utility platform, I guess I should call it. It's called Fixed Flow, and uh, a link to these guys will also be in the description. So if you need to get signed up, please use that link. And what this site is going to be doing, Fixed Float, is they are going to give us the ability to send uh, or receive a coin and send it to uh, as another coin to that address. And it probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but let me just show you really quick. Let's say I have Litecoin, which I do. And uh, to be exact, I've got 0.9145 Litecoin. And if I go in here, 0.9154, I think that was it, nine, oh, sorry, 9145. <clears throat> 9145, 0.9145 Litecoin. And uh, I need to send it to this TRC20 address, okay? This USDT TRC20 address because Coinbase does not give me the ability to send it on the Tron network. But guess what? Fixed Float, and I compared this to another site that was similar. Fixed Float did seem a little bit better on the fees and um, how much you're actually going to get when you send. So I'm going to send Litecoin. And you can do this with, with any other coin, okay? So whether you're using Coinbase or another exchange, if you have another coin, it's going to be the exact same process. Just choose the coin that you want to send here. And we're going to switch this. I'm going to type in USDT, and it's going to give me all the network options. And TRC20, you can see, is right there. So I'm, I'm telling it, I'm going to send you Litecoin. I need you to turn it into USD TRC20 and then deposit it, that TRC20, into this address and this is my address my deposit address from cotp do you guys see what i'm doing here if you need to figure out how to get your deposit address just go, click on the mine uh, this mine tab and click recharge it's right here click copy okay so that is what's going to be happening they have a fixed rate or a floating rate uh, i just choose the float rate because most of the time you're going to be getting a cheaper uh, rate because it's floating and most of the time it's not crazy. Anyway, so I'm gonna click on exchange now because I wanna send 0.9145 Litecoin to these guys, have them switch it to USDT TRC20 and deposit it into this address. So I'm gonna click exchange now and uh, it's gonna tell me US persons cannot make an exchange on fixed float. So let's say I was not actually in the US and I just was VPN into the US. So I need to VPN uh, to another location, maybe where I'm currently at. I have this uh, VPN extension from Chrome. This one's free. You guys can you know, use whatever ones you want. Uh, if you don't know what a VPN, in, a VPN is, it's a virtual private network and it makes it where you're, uh, you can change your location essentially. So let's just say I'm in the United Kingdom actually and I just needed to switch my uh, IP address around because uh, they're not accepting US clients. So I'm actually in the United Kingdom. And if I try this again, I am going to be able to easily uh, exchange through this process. And now here's the thing it's going to tell me, okay, so go ahead and send your 0.9145 Litecoin to this address. I can either copy this or scan it with my phone. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go back to Coinbase. And on Coinbase, I'm going to click the send and receive button top right. You guys see where I'm at up here. 
and I'm going to be on the send tab. I want to send Litecoin and I'm going to do the actual, I'm not going to do the dollar amount, 9, 0 .91, 0 0.9145, that's how much we need to send. And I'm sending it to this address that I just copied, uh, ends in Q6, ends in Q6, perfect. And then I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm going to hit send now if you want to make sure everything here looks correct. And it does, 0.9145, here's the address. Send now. I'm going to put in my two-step verification really quick. There that is. I'm going to hit confirm. And then done. All right, so that is going to take, uh, it says about 30 minutes. So we'll see how long it actually takes. Uh, and we can see here that it actually said that it received it, but we need to wait uh, for the confirmation. So you guys see how quick that was uh, for this fixed float to recognize that transaction coming through. So once we get two confirmations for Litecoin, at least, depending on what coin you use, um, once these confirmations come through, you guys are going to see how amazing this this platform is. And you can use this for anything, okay? Uh, and if you if you have a specific exchange that you really like, and it just doesn't have a coin that you need to send somewhere, let's say the uh, COTP was only accepting another weird coin, for example, that just other exchanges or on another network it didn't have, you can use fixed float to uh, send the coin that you do have, change it into what you need it to be, and then put in the address where it needs to be deposited into that receiving address in USDT. So I am going to just wait here for a bit. And once this updates, once the confirmations come through, and you'll see here, you know, it's waiting confirmations, it's gonna perform the exchange, and then it's gonna say it's done. Now, uh, just make sure that when you guys, it gives you, I think around a 30 minute time limit. And it says down here, if your transaction is received after the expiration of the order, but within 24 hours, then this transaction will be automatically displayed in the order. You will be able to continue the order yourself or make a refund. Okay, so just make sure that you guys send it within 24 hours or just if you can't, then just make a whole new order. That way you have it timed correctly. And they have a chat here as well if you guys ever need to chat with them. But uh, for this one, you guys saw how quick it was when I sent that and it at least initiated and said, okay, yep, we can see it's coming over here. So now we just got to wait for this confirmations, which as we are talking, we have already received one of the two. So let's wait for that second one to come in. All right, this just came in, guys. So Coinbase lied to me. They said it's going to take approximately 30 minutes. We can see the receive time from fixed float said seven minutes is how long it has been since we've received it. We've got two out of the two confirmations. They perform the exchange and they have now said it has been done. So if I go to COTP and I go to my wallet here, I should have 95 bucks. And that doesn't help because I had money in here before. So let me go to details of fund. Let's see if I can um, pinpoint that deposit. Perfect. You guys see this right here? Okay, so um, here it is. I sent 95. So if I go here to Coinbase and click on my Litecoin, because that's what I just sent. If I click on the wallet tab, it was about, yeah, 96, 96 bucks. What I ended up getting was $95 on COTP. There you guys have it, okay? So I used Coinbase, which does not have a TRC20 network option. I even used a different coin. I sent Litecoin. But because of fixed float, I was able to uh, send them Litecoin, switch it to TRC20 with USDT, and have them deposit it into the address I give them, which was my COTP address. And now I am $95 richer in COTP, and I didn't have to jump through a bunch of different hoops or exchanges to get TRC20 here. So um, I love this platform. And um, honestly, uh, someone in my group uh, noted and mentioned it. And I said, well, you know what? I don't really have an issue personally with getting this, but maybe this might be something to look into. So I looked into it. I was looking at some other platforms, came back, came back to this one um, as uh, something that might be 
uh, a better approach and uh, utility uh, platform here for depositing uh, TRC20 into COTP. So there you guys have it. That's the process of sending using fixed float to an address where you may not have the option on the current exchange. So really cool stuff. Again, if you haven't yet signed up for fixed float, the link for this will be in the description of this video. Okay, so I get a kickback a bit from them. I would really appreciate you guys using that. All right, this is going to be the conclusion of the full guide for depositing from Coinbase or another exchange to fix float back to our COTP address. On the screen, you guys should now see a withdraw full guide video. You guys can hop straight into that portion if you would like a little bit more in-depth guide on withdrawing and what I do. But with that, you guys, I will catch you later. Thank you again and see ya.